Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is so nice to see you all again. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know what you're saying, what you're thinking. For those of you that recognize me, you might think, wow, Nimda has a new body. What the heck? That's not normal. Well, my original body has some issues going on, so it's currently in the shop. I had to pick up an extra body, a temporary, if you will. So that's why we are where we are right now. Uh, don't worry though, I will be getting my body back. It's just running into some issues, so they need to be repaired. But the reason why I am here is I have a game to show you guys. This is a personal favorite of mine because it is sold like and you play as cat. Yes. And not just a little cat like we played in Strike. This is legitly a cat girl, just like me. So, without any further ado, let's take a look, shall we? Excited Nimda noises. Excited Android virus cat girl noises. I am so excited for this game to come out so i'm going to play the demo for you guys so you can check it out for yourself but before we do that i want to show you guys the kickstarter because this is kickstarter game that means it is on kickstarter who'd have thought right so if you guys want to check this out at forty six thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars out of a ten thousand dollar goal good lord over four times their goal it has 788 backers currently with six days left in the kickstarter not as of the time of me recording this i had to re-record this a couple times because i was having some issues with the sound but as you can see it is by astro club tower studios and of course here's the campaign story you can download the demo directly from their kickstarter or you can get it currently on steam it is open to the public i'm not going to go over too much of this right now here are the rewards digital copies exclusive discord roles name and credits as uh, backers switch giveaway and that's just for the 20 dollars. then there's optional add-ons there's a lot here i'm not going to go over all of them you guys can check this out whenever you want I will have the link to this in the description so you can see it for yourselves. However, this is a very, very cool looking game. It is very interesting. And I think if you are a Souls fan, especially if, and especially if you like Cat or Sekiro, because games controls feel very much like Sekiro. If you didn't like Sekiro, you might have some issues with the controls in this game but if you did it you will absolutely love this game but that's enough of me selling it up we are going to get right into the game and you guys can check it out for yourself so this is going to be an interesting experience for all of us of the interact with the crystal check point to activate it if you die you'll be brought back to the last crystal you rested at now so the, what the are you talking about i'm a soul screen I never die in these games. Travel throughout the clans. Complete the challenges set out many forms. And Break bumper for light attack. Red trigger for heavy attack. As much as following the soul's formula. To complete. Uh, Bring caution. R3 to Lahan. And empathy. And tapping R switch to target. And souls. Well, you may well change the world. Use Mama to cast foes, left trigger plus, X cast the mistletoe dart, and then use melee to recover your magic. Pew! Cool. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not much of a dash, guys. So he here, here's my thoughts on the dash. This. This really isn't, uh, this isn't much. But my, my, my suggestion on that would be to extend the distance. 
a little bit. Like, because especially if I'm not moving, it doesn't go very far. There's not much of a back step either. Uh, but if you are looking to do something like blood lure, then I would add it in a weight system where if we are uh, on low weight, that we get the bloodborne dash just by pressing B. Uh, if we are medium weight, we get the roll just by tapping B. And if we are heavyweight, we get, yeah, the traditional Soulsborne fat roll. I do appreciate the growl with the with the charged RQ and the and the running R R one. Open inventory to use an item. Right, right after I deal with these idiots. Partial start of renewal. Sometimes it's best just to start fresh. So true. This is like the fifth time I've recorded this video because my the sounds were not coming through properly. They were all messed up. Use? Well, that's nice that we can use them in stacks. Why can't we press left bumper? To just take it up to max. We grabbed like 10 of those? Oh my god. For sage jump, time ledges, and ropes to traverse the environment. Awesome. We have... Oh, Lady Shroom! Lady Shroom! I love it. I love it. Jump over an unaware enemy and press right bumper to perform an aerial takedown. Okay. Spend mana to use powerful weapon abilities. Left trigger plus right bumper to spin attack. Left trigger plus right trigger to uppercut. Use an ability twice in a row to perform a combo. All right, let's see it. Um, okay. Apparently. I got interrupted in the middle of my attack there. I want to see the combo, man. I didn't really see a combo there, guys. Okay, that one comboed. Ow! Brick. I see you. We have Sekiro. Holy! That was base as fuck! God damn! Very cat like. Mord gift. Uh, Onward to Fortune! Part 1. For being such a spooky place, Delamaze ain't so bad. Salgare called it the Swap of Doom. And mom acted like I was taking myself whistling to my own grave when I told her I was set to come exploring out here. But so far, the scariest thing I found are abandoned out boxes that no one felt the need to clean before they ran off in a panic after the Mad King's invasion. So, so basically, a cat box. That's an outhouse. Nice, nice touch. Ah, a whole left bumper Block! Blocking attacks low your balance. If you run out, you become open to a critical attack. Alright. Oh, I missed that. Eat it! I see you over there. Uh, block right before an attack. You hit you to perform a deflect. This staggers the enemy and lowers their balance. Enemies can also deflect their attack. Yes, we saw. How did I miss? I was standing right in front of him. Hey, shit. But first, I'm going to stab this dumb asshole in the back. Whoop, no. Nope. I do still appreciate the growl when I'm doing backstabs and stuff. Eat shit. I do love the little spinny cat. 
Oh, there we go. I was being dumb for a minute. Very cool. Very neat. I like the fact that we have more than one uh, quick slot. Being closer and closer to an NNO style, which was always something I appreciated with NNOs, having multiple like menu slots. Uh, some enemies can use special attacks marked by a flash. Skill attacks must be deflected or dodged. Red attacks can only be dodged. All right. Fuck you. Oh, Jesus. That literally, like, ended me. I forgot how to cat for a moment. I know, cat girl forgot how to cat, huh? Go figure, right? That is so base, like, seriously. Get out of here with that. You shield hugging douche. Excuse me a minute while I take care of this asshole. Wow. Really? God, rage. Why am I not hitting him? What the hell is that? Anyway, as I was going to say, ranged enemies are really OP right now. They have such good tracking. Once a prosperous, if naturally treacherous, locale, Dalmaze is now synonymous with wasteland and decay. A pity, really, as some of Nistar's finest fish and textiles came from craft folk in the area. Now it seems the only thing that th that desperate land yields is old memories and sorrow. Perhaps someday, when the echoes of war have finally stopped screaming, Delamaze will once more be a land of prosperity. I don't know what to say. War. War never changes. Oh? I see an uppy. How did I fat up? I'm sorry, um, but uh, am I just bad at being a cat? We... I almost missed that. I saw it at the last day. Oh, you dropped something. Leveling up. Using crystal stain by killing enemies. Uh, the coder report. C coder report. The gate to the case requires two keys. The general has already found one of them and is waiting for us in the fort. Reports say the other key is in a mansion. A small battalion has been dispatched to investigate. Sweet. Ah, uh, spills automatically equipped in the death hall. Oh, we got your wake. Lock on your side. Figured. Rex. Absolutely wrecked. I'm not sure what went wrong there. I think I'd much rather just prefer a regular, like, lunging. Nope. Because that's a little, little wonky. Hello. What? Mm, That's open. Brilliant. How are you super receptive? Not sure where my blocks were there. This man is a legend. Enemies are like legendary blockers, man, I'm telling you. But they really, really, guys. 
That's some poopy and you know it. Let me step up. I'm sorry, what? Learn that by me again? But that uh Alaria's breastplate, you say. That's really pretty. It's so pretty. Scamper, scamper, scamper. Scamper, 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 scamper. And step. There's the west gate. The first of the keys for the west gate. Next, I have to find the fort and infiltrate the fort. Next dab. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. We are going on over here. Gah. Meeting on the mines down there. Not that guy over there. And then this guy, sorry. A hole. You, come here. Really? I'm not sure what happened next. Oh, I have no balance. Ah, oh, that's not a place for me to be. Probably. You, sir. I know. Don't know where he was. Apparently someone was being a grumbly ass. The weeping wind. I'm gonna guess that's the fort. It looks very fortified. Stop it. Get some help. I'm sorry. I shall destroy. Hello? I hate you. Please can die. You know what? I killed them so hard that they they started running in place. The Derby fish eyes, I appreciate. Small antidote top guy has the sword. I wanted to I wanna try a new weapon. Nope. This man dies first. Now I'll deal with your your goofiness. Take care of this problem once and for all. Really don't want to deal with it. You jerk. Rock, rock, rock. Oh, 
You're starting to piss me off, sir. Uh -huh. Requires both. Okay, I have to get both keys. So that's that's the Westgate key place. Right, so I got. I'm pretty sure I got everything from around here. Pretty sure. So I'm missing a key. Oh, that's right. I have to go to the fort. I came down this way instead of going to the fort. Never mind. The fort. Come here. No dick. You tried, sir. Wrong button. Come here. I want to deal with your, your sniper buddies. Take down. You know what? I'm gonna use that to side and take these idiots out. Get enough. Nope. Come on, you should have been able to shoot your friend. That would have been hilarious. No? Okay. Stupid snipers. Mickey Snacky. Old high. The Ozen's training gauntlet. I wish we had more weapons. I want to try some more out. I just got lit stuff. Those are pretty cool looking. Take down. Get rid of big guy in here. Oh god. Oh god. The most challenging enemy in any Souls game. The f***ing camera. The carry you. I was gonna chain back that, you guys. Come here. Come here. Uh, oh, he wasn't training for sleep. That's very pretty. I love it. Second key. Rug. Ladder needs a little bit of work. Start a renewal. The ladder definitely needs a little bit of work. I'm going to murder you. I guess it was more to your backside that I murdered, but sure. That was so nice. There's a lot of people up there. Sir? Are you trying to peek? I just what? What happened there? How did I get that like plunging attack, but I can't get a normal one? And I feel like 
fraud right now is backstab. No, I guess it's not backstab for me. It's a plunging attack, but same concept and idea. Oh my god, they look so good on the cat model! That looks so amazing on the bottle! God, that man has legendary perception! Well, fish man, I guess. Not really a man, is it? Shut up! Right! Counter! Too bad I'm better than you! Are you come and die? Are y'all the guys just gonna stand right there? Okay, that works. You guys can stand there. That's fine. No. Get get on, friend. Not oh, you're not really my friend, but I said it anyway. I said what I said. Sweating bullets with that. God damn it. No fall damage, though. At least it didn't look like it. You little spitty bastard. Ooh. No. I see you up there. Ow. Really? Anyone else? Come here, Shit Lord. Get wrecked. No, no, I was going to say, don't dare crash. That's sure what OBS problem is today. Kind of wasted that. I didn't need to use that. What? Whatever. Here we go. Hello. Lopi. Uncle Lopi's here. How about no with that bullshit? Apparently, I sidestepped him. I was blocking. I was blocking again. Nope. I was blocking again. What? I... Again, why that dash is terrible. I had spells too, take the bag. Um, hello? There we go. Nope. No. I thought for sure he was going to try and smack the shit out of me. Great! 
A lot. That time I didn't. I was in the middle of a swing. Why did I try to block that? No. You. I had no freaking balance left. That didn't do a whole lot for me. Slightly tap B. So I don't get a double input from normal Souls games. Yeah, the dash needs... Needs a little bit further distance. Start of renewal! Even if we don't have more iframes, just a little bit more distance on the dash. Church? This looks pretty how. I'm seeing a glowy bit over here. If did a lord. It go up step. Oh. The end. I escape, which just means I'll die here in this treehouse, rather than being picked apart by whatever that creature is. I don't know what stopped it from killing me. All I know is that he had me by the throat within an inch of my life when it just dropped me with a bone-shattering shriek and started to babble and cry. Oh, the sound of those wails. It will haunt me until I die, which, as luck would have it, won't be very long from now. Gabri, you're an ass, but you were the best man I ever had. And don't marry Tengrish. He's not good enough for you. And you know it. Mom, I miss you already. I'm sorry. I should have listened. I will make my grave and my peace beneath the Jaconda, like Dad did. Ha are we are we uh so I'm gonna guess this is uh this is Sasha. The, the cat girl from earlier who was going on an adventure and running to guess she didn't make it whatever the boss was there killed her he was definitely a bit of a dick bag shard of renewal that this is the treehouse but i don't see anything else there wish we could zoom out of it more but that would be really helpful especially when the camera decides to be jerky like that oh i see a thing no Thank goodness for no fall damage. I mean, we are cats. Cats... Cats have better luck falling from, like, a higher distance than they do from a low distance. Just interesting cat fact. And this did... Yep, yeah, okay, this is... This is here. Why? When is this? Will you accept the challenge? Um, injury? Oh, cool. All right. So, all right, let me go over some of my final thoughts on this. So, first and foremost, I want to just say that everything looks so good. I love it the whole mod. I love the model. I love the cat. I love the gameplay. 
It is a souls like, and I get to play as a cat girl. I can't ask for much more. Seriously, I really cannot. However, I also absolutely love just the concept in general. I do wish we could have tried out different weapons, though. Seriously, I feel like that was a missed opportunity. I wanted to try different weapons. And I hope so much that we actually get some really cool weapons, like some claw weapons. That would be so absolutely cool. Think about it. Claws as a cat. You are actually a cat using your claws to fight. That would be amazing. But that's neither here nor there. I know this is a demo when this isn't necessarily the representation of the final product. But I would say so love something like that i would also love to have full customization of our cat like our apparent gender our fur patterns maybe even some hair for the furry community and i'm sure some of the furry community says i am a furry most of them tell me i'm a diet furry because i'm a cat girl <laughs> but all the same i'd love it just for just for the customization I know some people like to create these weird freakish monsters. I usually create something cute or something really cool, but that's the beauty of Souls game. The near infinite customization that is available to us. Also, you love the way the armor looks. I love the way the weapons look. I love everything about it. At first, when I add their record, it's like five different times because I was having issue with the sound. But after I got that figured out, uh, I got everything working. And the first couple times, I wasn't real keen on the deflect system because the enemies kept shield hugging so much. But after I played it a little bit more, I definitely kind of got used to it. And it's not so bad now. Uh, I do wish they would do more kind of like their shield to parry. You saw them do it a couple times to me, which I absolutely loved. But most of the time when I played through this game, they just field hug and then parry, which I hope that gets kind of ironed out in the final product because that feels a little meh and boring. I, I much prefer to they have to time their blocks just like we do. But beyond that, everything felt good. My the, the aerial plunge. I, I don't know whether it was just me because I was having some like brain issues. I'm not sure what the problem is, I'm going to blame that on OBS because OBS has passive issues recording sometimes, at least for me. I have a 3060 and I still run into issues recording. But beyond that, I love it. I love it so much and I can't wait. I cannot wait until the full release. I can't wait to see what you guys have for us. I want to play this game. I want to do challenge runs at this game and I am not typically a challenge runner but that's just how much i love this already but ultimately guys thank you for watching and if you like what you saw if you like the game please do check them out on their kickstarter the link will be in the description and also please give me a like please give me a subscribe please feel free to comment comment your thoughts comment your feelings comment uh anything if you thought i did something wrong Go ahead. I am always open to discussion. I love answering comments. I try to answer them all as best as best I can. So by all means, please do. The algorithm loves it. YouTube loves it. And I love it. And I could certainly use the love right now. But thank you guys so much. And thank you Astro Flop Tower for letting me make this video for you guys. Until next time, guys. See ya. Take care.